Welcome to the reading for Lunar Cry, Shadows of Redemption. Here, I'll give a shout out to my supporters in my Discord who gave me the okay. Um, starting with Dante Astra, Not There underscore three, Redshift, Valoran, Zakreen Ray, Nix Solaris, Kreiser underscore seven. I will also put their handles and tags where I see fit in the description. I want to thank everyone who has encouraged me from family, friends, and followers of my work. Without you, I would not have gotten this far for Lunar Cry as I have. Thank you for believing in me and being there from the very beginning. I hope you enjoy the reading. This dark fairy tale is for those souls bound by the whispers of magic, moonlight, and love embraced in shadows. Chapter 1 Island Myth in the distance was a low rumble from a thunderstorm. Far away to know the dangers they faced were long behind them. Four men drifted quietly in a small boat, drenched from the passing storm, weary and travel-worn. The water reflected the slate-gray sky above them, only broken by the soft ripples of mist that rose from the island ahead, an island that was barely visible to the naked eye. It floated on the horizon neither close nor far away. In the rowboat stood Matteo at the head of this small, weather-worn boat, his powerful frame outlined in a dim glow against the receding storm clouds. Each move he made was deliberate, like a hunter at ease, his dark red hair tousled from the ocean breeze, till just enough to shadow his intense, piercing brown eyes. His skin was bronzed and faintly scarred, hinting at past battles he won. With a self-assured smirk and the rhythmically drumming of his fingers on the boat's edge, all spoke of a man who thrived on attention. He breaks the silence first, his voice a low, commanding whisper. We're close, he says. Those words carry no satisfaction, only weariness and a thread of impatience. Seated across from him, their guide, a green-eyed wolfman with fur mixed of tan and dark brown, he adjusted the sails with calm precision, keeping his piercing green eyes trained on the island ahead. His hands moved deftly, hardened from the years of toil, the silent endurance of a man with a hidden past. Suddenly, his ears twitched, as if picking up sounds no one else could hear. He says nothing as it was merely the gulls and the hissing of the ocean waters hitting the distant shorelines. Mateo leaned forward, his voice soft, but carried over a tinge of his usual edge of arrogance. Tell me, Ellis, said Mateo, with a crooked smirk. He addressed himself to fit more comfortably in the boat. It's always the quiet ones that hide the deepest secrets. They say you have no family. And yet here you are, navigating us to a place that might as well be a ghost town. It's Elias, the wolfman replied, his jaw tightening, unamused by the blatant mockery of his name. To him, this was to be expected from Mateo. His gaze hardened as he looked away from the island to meet Mateo's eyes. There was a wariness with that gaze, but not a single drop of fear. Family isn't always blood, he replied simply. Besides, I learned early not to keep too many ties. Mateo's smirk didn't waver, his gaze still lingering on Elias. A man with no past has nothing to lose. Makes one wonder what drives you now. Honor? Or is it something... darker? And with that, it will conclude until next time. So if you like what you heard so far and would like for me to continue, be sure to like, subscribe, and tell me your thoughts. I'm open to critiques, of course. Um, I may continue on with uh, doing it written, <laughs> but I do plan on doing some illustration for the uh, story as well. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go uh, in a webcomic format, We'll see how it goes. But other than that, 
hope you enjoy what is that I have done so far. <laughs> um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.